He has beautiful, healthy lashes, which he doesn't deserve. No, I was kidding. <laughs> fucking death. They're so fucking beautiful. Alrighty, <laughs> so we are starting off always with Next Care Sensitive Skin Tape. We are doing a male classic set, so something kind of feminine, but still that's gonna complement his facial features and his eye shape. He has beautiful, healthy lashes, which he doesn't deserve. No, I was kidding. Fucking death. They're so fucking beautiful. So we're just gonna go ahead and get to lashing. I'll show you guys how I'm gonna map. I freehand map, but for the sake of the video, I am going to map out the lengths and the where I'm going to break in the sections, so you guys can kind of see how I'm gonna map this out. So go ahead and look up for me. And then once I get to lashing, I'll put some music on. <laughs> yeah, usually just anything non copyrighted and then not usually kind of just works. I'm so excited. Me too. It's about time. I haven't had these done in a long time. When's the last time you got your lashes? You were the last one to do my lashes. Oh, wow. That was like years ago, that bro. That was years ago. Years. Maybe like two. Wow, and I'm touching your face again. Thank God. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's not much, but it's like, yeah. why not? Yeah. It's so easy to. You can pick it up in a second. I Even know. I can do it. I feel like it, I feel like it would be kind of easy, but I'm gonna retape this because I don't like that. Let's see. Go ahead and open. Oh yeah. Oh, so you're still on a diet, right? Uh, yeah. All right, never mind. I brought a pizza. And uh -huh. I was like, you know what? I don't want to be that friend who tempts her with a big, <laughs> carby pizza. Yes, Roy. I'm trying to eat healthy. I know. I felt bad. Okay. All right. So, the way I'm going to break it down, go ahead and turn a little bit, is I'm going to go off the curve. I usually, when I map in my head, I go off the curve the natural eye curve. So wherever the eye starts to curve up, kind of goes towards the middle and then drops back down is usually my three point curves. I don't do no crazy seven lines of mapping. Like I just think that's just too much. Um, I go for something more that's based off just like I said, the eye shape and the eye starts to curve in the inner corner, goes straight in the middle and then comes down in the outer corner. Super easy, works for everybody and flatters everybody's eyes. So you just have to find those points. So for me, it is about here. And then he kind of starts to drop back down right here. So again, it is a more of a male type of classic rather than using it on females. So we're trying to make it look, we want it to look feminine, but at the same time, we want to keep it a little masculine. So I'm only gonna do a three point mapping. So I'm going to do, let's measure out to see what his actual length is. I want to say it's about 12, but let's see. Yeah, so he's about a 12. Um, maybe an 11, um, but we're going to do 12s because I want a dark lash line because I feel like for Roy's eyes, the darker lash line, I mean, I've done makeup on him before, so I already know. So when we have a darker lash line, it looks, it really flatters his eyes and it really flatters the color of his eyes. It makes his eyes pop. So I don't want to keep it too long because the longer you go with lengths, the more sparse it's going to look. The shorter the lengths that you use closest to their natural lengths, the thicker the base is going to look. So if you want a darker lash line, always use that rule of thumb. So if he's going to be a 12, so I'm going to stick to 12 out here. 12 in the middle, but I'm going to break it off right here. And we're going to do 11s and then 10. Super easy. Again, going off with his, I can't stress that enough to go based off your client's natural eyes because no matter, that will, it's bulletproof every single time it comes out great. So, period. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and start. So all I'm going to do is go in and start lashing. I'll probably speed this process up because it's really... Not hard, but I do want to talk about direction real quick because I think it's the most important thing when it comes to lashing that I feel like a lot of people fail when they start. Um, it's all about the angle of your wrist wherever you're lashing on your client. So if I'm going to be lashing on, so I feel, and also the left side is the hardest if you're a righty. So it's another reason why I wanted to film this video. 
if I'm working on this client's head, you want your hands to be parallel to their forehead and to the nose. So you don't wanna come over here and block his breathing. You don't want your hand to be all the way touching the cheek. You really wanna have your hands shoulder length apart and keep this parallel. So if you're working on this side, you're gonna keep your hands here. If you're working on this side, you're going to keep your hands here. Kind of like touching the eyebrow. It's okay to use the forehead as a resting point for you because you want to be able to keep your hands steady. So if I go in on lash on this side, as opposed to trying to come over here and tilting my tweezer at a certain angle, I'm gonna shift my body. You guys can't see that, but oh well. So I'm gonna shift my body and shift my hands so that they are parallel to wherever I'm working. So if I'm going straight, my hands need to be straight. If I'm working at the outer corner, they need to go in at the angle, so towards the left of how his lashes are sticking out, if that makes sense. I don't know, but you'll get what I'm saying when I know. <laughs> okay, here we go. So again, I'm working on this side. I'm gonna go in and isolate. And I'm going to angle my wrist towards the direction of the lash that's growing out. So if I'm coming into the inner corner, I can't come in at the same angle as if I was working the outer corner. Now my angle, my wrist needs to come in. The lash needs to come in towards the nose. And now it's able to go to the right. Same thing if you're working down the center. It needs to be parallel to that growth. So obviously I'm going to be coming in straight, not towards the left or towards the right, but straight. Just like that. And that is creating direction and flow. If you learn how to create direction within your sets, you'll learn to create beautiful sets. You don't want them to crisscross or touch each other. The more the direction that you have in your sets, the beautiful that they will come out. So we're just gonna go ahead and speed this up and go ahead and lash fully and then I'll show you guys towards the end on the final look. So, yeah.